Hundreds of the world's best junior golfers return to Scotland this summer for the US Kids Golf European Championship, a three-day competition held across four historic East Lothian Lynx courses. The US Kids Golf Foundation seeks to provide opportunities for kids to learn and play the game through tournaments such as the European Championships. Since holding its first event in 2000, US Kids Golf now runs 400 tournaments a year, including the World Championships at Pinehurst. Well, our philosophy from the beginning of our company has been to help kids have fun. So we started uh, in, in fulfilling that philosophy by our equipment and trying to make it fun for kids to enjoy and play the game and have success. So um, the, today we're celebrating our tournament, which is all about also helping kids have fun and learning the game of golf in early age. And where better to be inspired? An area of spectacular lynx land, including some of the oldest and finest seaside golf courses in the world. It is the home of golf, uh, plus it's the home of a different kind of golf, lynx golf, that, that really uh, brings a lot of wonderful character into the game itself. So we, we couldn't really feel like we were helping kids into golf without coming to Scotland to play and to enjoy these beautiful Lynx courses here at Gullen and Loughness and Craigie Law and Ab in Long Nidri has just been a true joy really for the players. They love it. In line with the fun philosophy of the tournament and junior golf, US Kids Golf set up the four courses so that the enjoyment of the game was not mired through lost balls. The course is set up so the kids can score well and enjoy the game. So it's, uh, it's key to have the kids having fun. If they don't, that's the motivation. We think that, that in their development, if they can shoot under their par, like a 68 uh, at an early age, uh, that that's a lot better than shooting a 75 or an 82 or a 90 from the red tees. So we think that, that people need to think of this a little bit differently as they develop youth. They need to be thinking about how they can help their young players get started and being comfortable with par, playing the game like an adult uh, at the highest level as early as possible. The course is very, very fair and you have to applaud that. It's not a slog. You know, every kid in each age group has an opportunity to play good golf and that's what you want. Um, you know, a lot of these kids, certainly from the UK, will go back to their home clubs and they'll play much tougher set up golf courses, golf courses that are maybe six, seven hundred yards longer and then it becomes a much more of a challenge and not as much fun. 500 juniors from 30 nations came to enjoy their golf in Scotland. Kids as young as six were in competition as the week aimed to nurture the next generation of golfing talent. Parents were on hand to offer advice, support and motivation as the sun came out and spectators looked on to see who might be the next Luke Donald or Yanni Seng. I think they're a superb event. Um, I think the way in which they look after the children particularly, and it's about the children, it's not about the parents. You know, we've played a lot of competitions and there seems to be a focus on maybe not the areas that we would think so, you know, you, you know they're looking at the parents rather than the kids. But here, made you know, the town and the Gullen and North Berwick make them everyone really, really welcome. Uh, and they're friendly and you, know, you, you can feel that because everyone's very relaxed, which is great fun. Although the event wasn't broadcast live on television, the effort was made to make it feel as close to a professional event as possible, and that included television interviews. The tournament itself have the sense of a professional event. Uh, to have professional type awards are really important. To have caddies, to have caddy bibs, to have their names on the back, to have ropes to be able to play in, it just uh, makes the whole event feel special. So we think that part of a kid's development is to, to be on the podium, if you would, and to speak and to share their thoughts and to thank the uh, volunteers. And we think that that's a part of their development that's good. And so we try to do whatever we can around helping young people develop in a, in a positive and constructive way. The historic Lynx courses of East Lothian were tackled. The stunning surroundings enjoyed. Who knows who might emerge as the next big thing?